machine learning is a very big umbrella under which lot of sub fields comes in okay and and that's what we need to understand so this is a, a very good uh, image that i have taken from internet uh, or from this site but let me elaborate about it so machine learning primarily is divided into certain subcategories the very first one is supervised machine learning second is unsupervised there is also something known as semi supervised uh, we will talk about that later and then there is reinforcement learning so first of all we need to understand these three categories okay so what is supervised machine learning so supervised machine learning understand it this way that when someone is uh, teaching you in the class they are giving you questions as well as the answers okay for this question this is the answer okay so for every question you already know the answer the answers are already with you so you are aware about what to respond in a given scenario or let's say when when you are going to a school you first go through certain classes where you learn about a particular topic okay there there is a teacher who is first teaching you supervising you that okay uh, we are learning about these topics and after that they will ask you to go through an exam right you you go through an exam so that means first you went through a stage of supervisation where you were taught about everything before you were sent into an exam that is what is a supervised learning in supervised learning if you talk about how it works is you are given the data in such a way that you already have inputs with you okay and the output is already available to you for example let's say i want you to predict whether it is going to rain today or not so you need certain parameters like okay what is the wind speed what is the temperature outside okay so likewise if i tell you certain parameters you can tell me whether it is going to rain today or not so your target is yes or no so if someone has already taught you these things that based on these kind of uh, scenarios rain will happen otherwise it will not happen so that means someone first teaches you so that in future if any other combination of these parameters happens you can easily predict whether it is going to rain or not okay similarly a machine learning model works field of supervised learning you first feed the model with the data where you have the inputs so these are all your inputs and you already are given the output also okay first model learns this so that later when you ask model to do some predictions by only giving it this input it can predict the output so that is what is supervised learning but on the other side in unsupervised learning you are only given inputs you are never given the outputs okay for example let's say you have uh, 100 patients with you but you don't know which patient is having which disease okay you you are given some patients but but you don't know which disease they have like someone may have let's say cancer someone may have tv or someone may have some other problem but but you don't know the target values up front but what you know is some input features features of the patients their blood pressure their rbc count their sugar value likewise you know their features so remember features is something very very important whenever i am talking about inputs i am talking about features so if you know features about the patient so what you can do you can look at the similar features and based on them you can at least group the patients that hey all of those who have a bp in this range and uh, let's say their sugar value in this range you all please uh, go and uh, stand in this group others who have uh, this kind of uh, features stand in another group 
so what you are doing you are grouping people based on similarity in their features right but you don't know who is suffering with which disease so that is why it is known as unsupervised okay so you are just grouping people based on similarity in their features without having any information about the target so you don't know if people have these kind of combination of the uh, their bio markers that they are having this disease no you you don't know that upfront so target is never given to you that is where we say it is unsupervised learning but if if the target was already given to you that for every patient which disease they are suffering from that will become supervised learning if you are given input with output that is supervised learning input is known as features so you can have multiple features like multiple columns consider inputs as multiple columns which are your features like age gender rbc count wbc count likewise and target is what you are actually trying to predict so if you are trying to predict a disease so the target is the name of a disease okay so in supervised learning you are given the input features and the target but in the unsupervised learning you are ne never given the target or the output you are only given the input uh, which is the features and just based on the similarity of the features you have to group your candidates or the rows into different clusters and that's where clustering is one of the very famous field we will talk later but yeah. normally you are given labeled data this is known as labeled data where you already have target right you are already given target means the labels okay and then you pass it into a model for training so see yeah. when you are talking about supervised learning let's look at the data here so for example you know these two inputs these are your inputs which are your features based on which you are predicting a target so for example based on the square feet and the condition of the house we are predicting its sale price right so exactly you know the historical uh, data with you so let's say this is data that based on this combination this was the price right now right. Uh, when your model is learning your model is trying to learn a equation just understand it this way like y which is the target it, it is equal to m of x plus c right now where mm. x is this square feet let's say right and what is what is m here m is a constant which is like how much this x is contributing in the prediction of y there are two features right x1 and x2 right this is x1 this is x2 right right so how the equation will become y equals to x1 plus x2 of these parameters they have their own contribution in predicting y this is predicting it with a contribution of 4 so there is four times of contribution of x1 and uh, two times contribution of x2 now this value of 4 and 2 is what the model is learning in supervised model so first of all there is this learning process where model needs to learn about these coefficients of x1 and coefficient of x2 okay coefficients means what is the uh, weightage you can say it is the weightage of uh, this input field and this is the weightage of this input field in predicting y 